then <laughs> hi hi all right so today we're going to do a lovely little satin stitch and we're going to do these three little flowers okay we're starting off with something a little bit I'm not gonna say difficult because I don't think it's difficult um but I think they're just so cute and I really want to use this blue thread and plus um we'll use satin stitch more than just this one time so you'll have a really good chance um of practicing throughout the rest of the stitch along so let's zoom in on these and whenever I do satin stitch I really like to do some guidelines and the guidelines are really helpful because they can show you where you need more stitches um, or where you have too many, if you know what I mean. So the first thing I'm going to do for these three little flowers is we're just going to round out these because it looks like I drew these in a hurry. I just wanna make sure that they have a nice shape because if you draw it wonky, you're probably gonna stitch it wonky especially for satin stitch because we're going to have a nice line. Sorry, we're going to have a nice line that goes around the whole thing. So we're actually not going to outline these at all. So you have to be a little bit careful where your needle goes, um, how far, etc., etc. So let's draw in the guidelines i like to do it with a contrasting color pen so that you can actually kind of see you where you're going let's zoom in a little bit more there we go all right so we're going to start with this one and i like to do the middle of the petal and then down these corners where it kind of goes down yeah so i'll do that for each one and you'll notice that there's more space on the outside than there is on the inside. And there's a trick that I've learned to make them all nice and smooth. Um, and it's almost like having a pizza, you know, where the pizza is like almost pointy at the bottom, but then at the end it has more space. That's literally what we're dealing with in these little quadrants. So by breaking them down like this, it makes it more manageable. And it also makes it so that you're able to really see how much thread you need to fill in. And that's gonna make a little or it's gonna make a little bit more sense in just a minute. So we're gonna use three strands, and I'm gonna use this kind of teal, teal color, and it's number one zero six eight. Obviously, anchor. And we're gonna do three strands, like I said. So obviously you could just use six, you could do four, um, but I wanna use three. And that's because we might have to put more stitches in in other areas. Like I said, like the pizza. At the top, you're gonna to have to fill in more. And at the bottom, you're gonna to have to have less. And there's a way that we do that. So let me just separate these. I know, I saw on their website, Hannah, she says, oh my gosh, this color. I saw it on their website and I was like, definitely have to use that one. Like not even a question. Sorry, I just restarted the music so that um, when it goes to the end, sometimes it plays some weird stuff. So, thread our needle. How are we? Are we all good today? Are we all right? The sun is really coming in today. I'm like, man, I both love it, but then I'm like, not too much, please, because I don't want to ruin my video. <laughs> all right, here we go. I hope you can see this color because it is a little bit dark. I know that the darker colors, they tend sometimes to not show up so well. So we'll just keep going. The light's on, so we'll see. Honking down with rain in Kent. Oh my gosh. It's blue sky here. So you know that the minute I've said that, it's going to start raining. Um, 
All right, so with satin stitch, normally we start with a very nice parallel satin stitch, meaning that every single stitch is never going to touch. Nice and parallel, yeah? But for this one, we're going to have some stitches that go from the middle all the way down and some stitches that only go up to about this, this far. And this is going to make it so that the top is filled out, but the bottom has more space so that you can put... Um, other stitches in there so it's not like it's boom 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 it's too many stitches going down in the same hole and it's going to make more sense I promise so we're, I like to go right down the middle first like that it's the sun man I swear and then we're going to go right next to it not through the knot but just right next to it because like I said the outside edge needs to be quite neat and tidy because um there we go because we're not going to outline this we're going to keep this nice shape how it is so this next one is going to go just about three quarters of the way down so you're going to have something like that yeah one all the way and then one a little bit now your next one is going to go all the way down right next to the where the first stitch went down and unfortunately, there's no, um, hold on, I've got a knot. There's no like formula or anything like that to this. It's literally just, if you need to put a stitch there, put a stitch there. Um, if you don't need to put a stitch there, then don't. So have a look at mine for a little bit, and then you can kind of figure out on your own um, the best way for you. Do you know what I mean? this table down I hope that it doesn't um, shake the phone too much but just brace yourself for impact okay that's way better apologies this morning it was not um, sunny at all so there we go okay so this next one is gonna go right down next to the first one you did and it's going to cover up that area where we didn't go down all the way do you know what i mean so what i like to do is continue kind of doing like one all the way down and one half the way down sorry three quarters of the way down until i get down to the very bottom part <laughs> jamie t I'm just so funny, aren't I? Just over here bringing the laughs. So, so far I've done one all the way and one three quarters of the way. And as you move down the curve of the flower, um, your stitches are gonna get shorter, obviously. And you'll really figure out which which way to go do you know what i mean like if you need to do one and one and one or if you can kind of get away with a couple that are all the way down and this is so we don't have bulk down in the middle in the center of the flower So we're keeping the circle here nice and clean and we're keeping the outside edge nice and clean. Yeah. Now I've gotten to the very smallest part, which is this here. <laughs> well, it was just, uh, I hope it doesn't shake the phone too much. And then there is an earthquake. <laughs> You're welcome. Just bringing some liveliness to this Wednesday. That's all. Um, yeah, so what I like to do is I like to kind of do it in halves. And I always go to the middle and then fill it in the other way. And then go and fill it in the other way. Some people like to do the middle and then do each side at the same time. Meaning, um, so I'll just show an example of that. So you do this side three quarters of the way down. And then you do this side three quarters of the way down. 
So you're filling up the whole part of this petal at the same time, so three quarters of the way. So this one goes all the way down. It was nice to experience what astronauts go through during blast off. Bonus content. Wow. Haters today. Would you rather see or would you rather have an earthquake? Okay. It's like an amusement park. You know what I mean? Like. Ah. Oh. I honestly can't stop laughing at this, but I'm trying not to laugh like loud. Okay, let me know if this is making sense because I just want to make sure that you guys understand what, what I'm saying. Um, like I said, normally we start with like a normal parallel line, parallel line one, but I feel like you can do it. And it's really not that difficult, you know? So the basic rule is, if you go to make a stitch and this space here is bigger than this space here, then you need to do a three quarters of the way stitch. But, if you can get away with it all the way down stitch, then that's okay too. So here, the space is the same. So you go all the way down. Yeah? So let's zoom out and have a little look at what it looks like. So you should have a nice, where is my paint? So you have a nice, smooth, normally it brightens it up a bit, but it's not really working today. Um, a nice, smooth area there. Yeah? It's not working, Tori. Just stop trying to make it work. So we go again to the next pedal. Now, like I said, you can do a quarter of, you know, like a half of your petal at a time and do half and then the other half, or you can do them both at the same time, like I did with that one. It's totally up to you. I'm just glad that I can um, add astronaut and earthquake simulation to my CV, you know, like the next time that someone's like, oh, is it going to be worth the money? I'm going to be like, well, have you ever been to space? Because I can tell you what it would be like to blast off. Have you ever experienced an earthquake? My followers have. <laughs> Morning, Mel. For all of you who are just arriving, I had to move the table over because the sun decided to come out and then everyone, everyone was laughing at me because I said, I hope it doesn't shake too much. And then it proceeded to shake a lot. <laughs> but to be fair to me, um, I do have a new uh, phone holding device. Um, I don't know what else it could be called, a phone stand. So I used to have the gooseneck ones and it was so shaky. Like even when I went to go scroll through the comments to like see if I missed anything, it would shake so much. And then about once or twice every single time I would go to like grab something or like move my hoop or use my left hand in any way. And then I would hit it. And the entire thing would shake. And I'd have to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. So this is way better. But apparently not good enough for some people. 
He said it was amazing. I totally think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like I'm bringing you all the experiences, okay? Do you want to learn to embroider? Sure. Do you want to blast off into space? I got you. I've just got, I've got it all going on over here. Even Jessie's just moved because the sun's like right in her face right now as she's sleeping. So she's probably like, oh, to be fair, I think the stand did great. I think it was just the embroidery on the table going a bit wiggly. That's probably it. But I did move the entire table, so it is my fault. So yeah, this is pretty much it for today. We're doing satin stitch, three strands. I've got this lovely teal color and a knot on the back. I can feel it. Yeah, and we're just gonna keep on going until all three are filled up. So you can do a different color for each one if you want, or you can do the same color for all three. Oh my God, it's such a tiny knot, please. Yes. It's up to you. Um, I know in the pattern, there's like little lines here for each one. You don't have to do those right now. We're gonna do all of the details on a detail day so we can add all the little things that, um, you know. I missed the first part of the video. I would love to know how to do the st stitches of the espresso machine. So go back and watch the IGTV and YouTube, which is um, day one and two. So I only do a little bit of each part of the pattern a day. I, we're not stitching all of this up right now. So from now until the end of February, um, every day except for Sunday, I show you new stitches and different different ways to stitch. So sometimes it will focus on a stitch and sometimes we'll focus on like using three strands or using variegated thread or whatever. You're welcome. So yeah, so today we're just doing these, these three little guys and then tomorrow we'll move on to something else. Now, if you're doing this and you're like, oh my gosh, mine's not as smooth as hers, um, one, stop that right now, because if this is your first time doing it, it won't be. However, just try your best, and if you tried your best, then that's good enough. I could probably put another one in between there because I can see the fabric between those two stitches. Awesome. Will this be the same time every day? Yeah, so it's 10 a.m. every morning. And then the videos are saved and uploaded to YouTube. I've just checked this morning and yesterday's video is uploaded as private. I don't know why they do that. It's like every 10th video just to decides that it's not gonna show to everybody. Um, so I'll sort that out right after this and then upload the next two videos, which is this one and the one before. So there should be four new videos on YouTube today and they are saved immediately to IGTV. So um, you can watch immediately after this literally I just have to push upload and I write down um, the stitches that we used and how many strands so that's good in the description so you can always like look at the descriptions and figure it out so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want 
then you wouldn't experience an earthquake, I'm just saying. Okay, so there's one done, completely filled in. Um, if you only do one today, then just do one today. You can always do it later or we can do it on Sunday, which is the catch-up day. So I will do videos on Sunday, but it, they won't be new content. So if you miss anything, then, um, you know, it's, it's fine. I don't know why I've just cut that when I could have just continued stitching. So I'll just do a little bit more. It's exactly the same concept for each of these little flowers. And if you have to draw more guidelines than just these ones, then draw more. There's absolutely no shame in drawing the guidelines on there. They really, really help me a lot. Um, especially if it's a tricky shape or if I want to keep them all exactly parallel. Um, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. And if you can't draw a straight line, then that's okay too. You can always put a little piece of paper there or a ruler and that can help you. Oh man. So it's really just three strands and then this kind of three quarters of the way tucking in technique. God, the sun is so nice. I think it's going to be not that cold today. Maybe I'll go take a walk. Maybe I'll walk to Little. Get myself a tart or something. I can't wait to see your guys' colors for these. And like I said before, at least I think I said it before, you could definitely do three different colors or you could do two different colors. Um, you could use color changing thread, which is called variegated thread. Let me see if I have any. I can show you a little bit. It's like this one. Yeah. So it's a one um, color of thread, green, and then it goes from light green to dark green and to light green to dark green back again. So you do something like that if you wanted. Jamie T says, a little tart or a big plant. Yeah, let me tell you, I didn't, I don't think I've told you at all, but um, I got plant from little on Sunday. It was only four pounds, so, you know winning. David named it Cassandra. That was the first name that popped out of his head was Cassandra. So if we have any kids, he's definitely not naming them. Um, yeah. So Cassandra got her little place over by the window and she's just living life, man. All her little leaves are starting to splay out like this. She's, she's like showing off for all the other plants in the house. I'll show, I'll show you Cassandra afterwards. Yeah, she's really like spreading her wings and flying. Yeah, I was like, why Cassandra? Like why? It's like a palm kind of plant. You know, it's like, um. The ones that, maybe they're called like yuccas or something. I don't know. It's got tag on it. I'll check it later. But yeah, I was like, oh, should we name the plant? He goes, yeah, let's name it Cassandra. I was like, what? Are you okay? 
Ooh, here we go. One more stitch. We're done. Well, with a name like that, yeah, definitely. She's making her mark on the world, that's for sure. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for me today. And then on Sunday, we can catch up um, on that day. It'll give me something to stitch, you know? All right, here we go. So let's zoom out and you can see how it looks. I don't know how to like make it brighter because the blue is really pretty, but you just can't see, you can't tell very well. But yeah, so there it is, nice and smooth. Satin stitch, three strands. So I hope you have a good Wednesday. I know it was a little bit short today, um, but it's honestly like the same exact technique over and over. And I will stitch the rest of them with you. I promise you that. Um, it'll just be on Sunday. And that way we won't have the videos be so long, you know? I'm really excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to look so beautiful with all the colors. Oh, it's going to be so good. So I hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget to use um, the hashtag, the Barmy Fox, and then S-A-L right after it and then you can scroll through um it's really great to do like in the evening if you're watching tv or something here's the blue if anybody wanted it's like a teal color 1068 um so yeah it would, it's really nice if you are just like watching tv in the evening to go and have a little scroll through um and like and comment on a couple people's hoops. It would be so nice. And I'm telling you, it means so much to everyone. So enjoy your day. I can't wait to see what colors and all your stitches. And I'll talk with you tomorrow. All right? Bye.